Hey water signs, welcome back to your weekly messages with Pure Black Magic, emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. Whether you are new here or returning, thank you all so much for tuning into these messages. Um, I hope you are well and in good spirits, water signs, and we're going to go ahead and hop into it, okay? Um, so you got the Ten of Pentacles coming out here, and it's, it's crazy because two songs I got for you guys this week... Um, Okay, sorry. So this is for December the 4th through the 10th, give or take a couple of days, okay? Very general messages, water signs. So please take what you feel as if intuitively resonates for you and leave what does not for the next person. Um, but yes, back to the songs. Two songs that I got for you guys this week. Um, the first one is My Friends by Ty Dolla Sign, okay? Um, and the second one was I Hate You by SZA. So... It was giving me the energy, of course, something going on in a friend circle, okay, friend group, some sort of social circle setting. It could be friends, it could be family, it could be friends you deem as family um, or someone else. Like there's something going on with that um, and it, it could be like an argument, a disagreement or some sort of like, you know, cutting ties of a connection or relationship, okay? It, someone is like a third party energy, someone's friends, family or, or something like that it could be causing a blockage or getting in the way of a connection with you and someone else or somebody feels like that okay um or maybe you know maybe you need to accept the reality of that or something like that so for the ten of pentacles to come out you know representing all those things in terms of like family um that could be significant the earth sign could be significant as well towards virgo capricorn at the bottom we have the nine of pentacles here too so yeah, like there's, um, I feel like there's like a breakup or a separation. This could be a friend breakup or, you know, there there's some sort of disconnect where there's temporary or permanently that's happening here this week. Like some of y'all are like no longer or choosing to like no longer, um, you know, surround yourself with a certain energy environment with certain people, a person here, um, or there's something about family. You're breaking the, you're breaking free from someone here. Okay. I feel like close to you. Um, or something that you were doing with someone else, collaborating with, with someone else. Some of y'all, it's like a job. Maybe you're switching jobs, you're traveling for work, or you're like resigning. There could be definitely be some sort of res uh, resignation here of a job or like, yeah, kind of like, it's almost like disowning or I'm getting disassociating yourself. Some of y'all could be disassociating yourself with a particular something, someone, okay, some sort of energy here. So um, yes, but we're going to save the tarot for a little bit later on in the reading water signs. I do have a new deck that I would like to use for you guys. It's called the Love Oracle. Um, and very similar to the other Love Oracle that I have, but different at the same time. Um, whatever comes out could be pertaining to love or just any other area of your life. So let's hop into it to see what comes out. Clarity confirmation, Holy Spirit, for my water signs this week. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What is it that they need to know? What is the energy looking like for the water sign spirit? All right, so you got two cards that popped out here. Um, and we have lightning, okay? And it says sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, um, upheaval, and transformation. So that could be causing like, that could be lightning, like some sort of tower moments, give me tower energy or something um, very shocking that's happening, a shake up here. We also have mask. It says not showing true feelings, high personality, pretend, yeah, gaslighting. So I kind of feel like... Um, like something could be being revealed here or someone's like having a revelation or like an epiphany awakening to a particular situation. Somebody could just be seeing something for what it is. And I don't know if there's something being communicated or some sort of proof here. Um, but someone like the, um, the mask is coming off or being seen through in a particular situation, water signs, um, or somebody's, I'm getting exposure. Somebody could be trying to expose you or someone else or you're trying to do this okay we have soulmate soul connection partnership agreement um soul contract and i believe it was the earth signs that had this okay maybe the air i think it was the earth signs that had this energy so earth sign could be significant um or i feel like something about like somebody is not who you thought they were for some of y'all um it's like the energy of like someone feels or maybe this actually happened like um, a person is choosing, you know, a friend over, you know, you or over someone or a family member, like something like that as well. It's like you're seeing somebody's true colors. Could be definitely tied to like a soulmate or somebody you deem to be close to you. Maybe you you felt like or you feel like this person um, 
shouldn't be doing or shouldn't have done a certain things or should be acting or behaving differently like something like that or some sort of truth here clarity is coming through and we have palm tree it says stability security yeah growth endurance flexibility yeah like there's there's a shaky foundation something is not so secure or you're you're figuring out that somebody's not solid okay like y'all are falling out with a friend or somebody close to you here something is not on stable grounds and i was actually getting thin ice um oh i cannot remember who's reading it i think it was a fire signs i was getting the energy of, of someone or something being on thin ice here um so yeah that could be significant for you guys too and then we have healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from uh toxic relationships or addiction okay so some of y'all could be like really some of y'all are trying to recover from a shakeup something that's happened to you in your personal life or something that's happened to you regarding someone else a relationship or something it's like you're trying to recover either by yourself or recover you know the situation as a whole the connection as a whole okay so maybe that's past energy whereas there was already some sort of um disconnect with you and this person and for some of you guys it's it's mending the connection or relationship or the desire to do so or somebody's you know desiring to do it with you or something like that water signs um so yeah let's see what the energy deck has to say clarity confirmation holy spirit for my water signs angel of balance okay libra energy door to spirit yeah something could be healing mending the world card some sort of tough cycle could be over or somebody's wanting something to be over here okay um third eye chakra garden in the gate all right so let's see clarity confirmation for my water signs i feel like somebody could be trying to um get someone else to be open like open up receiving to their energy okay um they're trying to figure out what they can do what they can say like what can they yeah what can they do to get somebody to be open to accepting something or feel more comfortable here the sun card leo energy okay clarity confirmation for my water signs this week leo could be significant um and again, I'm getting this back and forth push pull, pull like up and down roller coaster type of energy for all of the elements at this point, all of the signs, all the elements for this week. So the first chakra, the seventh chakra, also, yeah, okay, I felt that coming. So also, because I kind of feel like this is also security, stability. Okay, this is the first chakra. There's a lot of sexual energy, passion, drive. I kind of feel like two um, water signs. It's like you may. You or somebody else feels driven or attracted to, okay, a certain whatever this is, pursuit, something, something you want to do or something like that. Um, but I feel like you know it's not a good idea, okay, or somebody is having these thoughts in regards to you. Like, you know it's not a good idea or you know there's some sort of, like, toxic attachment here with the attachment or you know it will set you back, it will hold you back. Um... Or for some of y'all, it's just like something you can't let go of. Like you're struggling, breaking free from something, okay? Um, it could be some sort of codependency here. Or again, you're waking up to the fact that something is just like holding you back. Like a toxic attachment or, or, or something. It's like somebody is realizing this. Um, so somebody could be fighting against like what they might want to do or feel drawn to do or attracted to versus like what's the best um, energy for them or decision to make or something like that. There is a, there's a struggle here. I feel like y'all could be overcoming some sort of um, attachment issues, abandonment issues, something that was keeping yourself stuck or area of life. You, yeah, you've been like keeping yourself stuck here. A uh, woman holding a coin. Wow. Okay. So this is an earth sign could be significant but we have the woman holding the coin the man holding the coin okay um and this could definitely deal with like a partnership a marriage um the throat chakra here rest and rejuvenate also i kind of like somebody is ho i feel like somebody here is resisting doing something or resisting allowing something to happen or someone in because of um just the energy like it's not there's no room for growth or something here is lacking or it's like the inability to like actually work or happen here okay so let's see we have anxiety color red could be significant broken heart um yeah and financial constraints 
it's just also the energy of like strongly wanting something, possibly desiring something, wanting it to be stable or work out, but like having to accept the fact that that's not the case or something will never happen is what I'm getting water signs, okay? Or it's just not happening for you this week for some of y'all. I kind of feel like there's a, I keep getting a strong dependency of like something outside of yourself, someone outside of yourself to fill some sort of void or fix some sort of problem for you or do something for you, whether you're codependent on somebody, regardless of who it is, or somebody is codependent on you as well for some sort of stability here. Um, or just, you know, toxic codependency is what I'm picking up on. Happy family, okay, um, is here. So, yeah, like somebody, um, somebody might be really wanting something to work out to a fault like you know to the point where it's is is detrimental here or they they keep putting themselves in some sort of same position or something like that um or family could be on the line as well somebody could be like staying in something for the family or they really have high hopes for it or something about um children could be significant it's the energy of like just wanting to get something right but i just feel like there's a blockage or something like that water sign so let's see um or disconnects 